This is like one of my favorite things to talk about. Megan, you asked about inspiration. Where does Mike Lloyd go for inspiration? I rarely ever look at photography for inspiration. Um, I was at a, a circus show and they had this aerialist up on her Lira. It's like the, the metal hoops that they hang down and she was like doing her thing on that. They had a spotlight on her and it looked really cool. But over off to the side on this other black curtain was like a round circle of light with her silhouette in the middle of it doing all of this stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, that's amazing. I totally have to do that. And so everyone's like over here watching the show and I'm trying to like take pictures of the curtain on the side where this really cool silhouette is of, of this acrobat up in her, her hoop. And so like, that is a thing that I've taken with me, um, to photograph people later, you know, if they have just this gorgeous athletic shape because they're a professional acrobat or, or circus performer, uh, they are happy to show off their hard work and the, the body that they've built for themselves. So you can do silhouette shots like that and just blow people's minds. Some other things that I've taken from live performances, for like stage lights, they're really hard lights and they're nasty on the face, but they get the ones down really low that like light up all the fog, like holes cut in the front and it shoots. It's like a sea urchin shape pattern of, uh, of light out through the fog. And so those are cool things you can do as well, shooting through things. So I see light all over the place and I see shape and I see just flow and storytelling. Uh, my stylist and I picked out a couple of models a few years ago and we shot the four seasons. So how do we do a shoot that feels like winter, but isn't just like snow and building a snowman with a sled, right? How do we shoot summer without a barbecue or actually being on the beach? So we sat down and we hashed out all four of these shoots over like two months. And we did four shoots with the same two models and things that felt like that season, but weren't like obviously that season. So if you saw them, you might not know, but if I'm like, does that feel like summer? You're like, hell yeah, that feels like summer. So that is another place, like literally anywhere. Um, you can get it from the design of the food on your plate. You might see some cool new geometry that you want to go recreate in something, old paintings, or I'll hear music. And there's a story in the song. That's a place that I get a lot of my inspiration. It's like, how can I create a photo that represents that song? That's, that's one of my favorite places. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below so you never miss an episode. And be sure to swing on by our private Facebook community, Photogs Unite, where you can learn with other photogs from around the world who are just like you. And until next time, photogs, remember that every photo you take brings you one step closer.